When we introduce children to Cubelets, we have them take the role of robot investigators. Kids form simple hypotheses about how each new component works and then test it by building robots and seeing how robot behavior changes. This robot building process teaches kids to be creative when solving their problems. I met a 10-year-old girl who was determined to discover how the dark green cubelet works. I watched her chip away at the problem by asking herself questions, iterating on robot designs, and noting her results. Bit by bit, I could see her getting closer, her questions leading to a kernel of insight. Aha! She figured it out, but she didn't have a name for it. It's like a disruptor. It makes it so you can have two separate robots that each do their own robot job with separate senses and reactions, but they share power. Or maybe it's more like a person. We have organs in our bodies that are all doing different jobs, but they're connected and they have to work together. I wish I had thought to explain the blocker cubelet that way. Cubelets are like organs, each doing their own job. And cubelet robots are like systems. Joining them together is a lot like making a body. Sometimes our students teach us how to solve problems.